guys welcome back to another episode of city skyline so last episode we worked on this district we got some of these buildings set up and we put in that uh tower i forgot to mention that last episode but uh we put in the uh observation tower right over here so it kind of situated right between the buildings which gives it a nice skyline and then we have the other tourist building over here. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out overall. So um, we can move on to the next area, which we'll probably be developing over on this side, I think. Uh, that way we can um, start filling this in. We have the rails and stuff to work on. So we have quite a bit of stuff that we need to plan out uh, where everything's going to go. There's two rail systems. One goes this way, over onto that side, and then we need to figure out, this is the passenger one, and then this is the cargo one, right? So we need to make sure that the cargo one is hooked up. So I was thinking because it goes into this area, we might be able to put some industry area in here. I'm not sure what just yet, but um, we'll be able to figure something out. Now there is, is there a, um, no, there isn't a cargo terminal here. Uh, the closest cargo terminal is at the airport from what I remember so all these things will be going to different locations so this one's going to railway connection I'm not sure where it's going to uh, transporting to okay so it's going over here so they kind of go back in between the two I think that's because they're delivering resources and stuff. So maybe having a cargo terminal somewhere around in this area would be a little bit easier. Maybe make a connection up to it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, it's just something that I need to figure out in order to get it working more efficiently. But, uh, let's check a couple things out. Oh, we've been winning a lot. Wow. Okay, that's good. We only like one lost one game so far and ticket sales were pretty high for all of them that's good all right good good uh let's go ahead and start planning out the roads and um, i'm just kind of waiting for it to be d so i can actually see the train and stuff so it's taking a little bit longer let's fast forward might speed it up a little bit more um in the meantime we can maybe uh, just make sure all the buildings and stuff are connected. Once in a while, the uh, power lines get messed up from lightning strikes.
university finally leveled up to level five so we can unlock that or build that other building that we wanted uh, a long time ago i can't believe we're already down like three thousand dollars like we've been losing a lot of money <laughs> I'll have to see if there's some sort of issue going on uh, with one of our industry areas, because we had we had it up to like ten thousand yesterday. But okay, so education, and then I think it's this one should be a larger building that we can build here. Let's see if we can put that in right there. That's unlocked when um, we get to level five. So school of engineering. And I'm not sure if there's any other things that we can place down. I don't know if we have all those things. We might be able to level it up a little bit more. Okay, so volleyball club. I don't think we have one of those. Yeah, I don't think we have that yet. Might be able to put it in there. Um, trade school labs. Yeah, we definitely have that one. We got a little park thing here. So we'll put a couple of those down. If we can fit them in somewhere. <laughs> Not sure if there's much more room. We might have to expand the area a little bit more. Okay, so the important thing is we got the uh, trade school made, uh, or, or the engineering school made, so. Because that's, uh, that will give us a boost in something. Can't remember what. Uh, we'll take a look at that quickly. So, the police academy gives us, um, uh, Requires Department of Efficiency. Facility increases campus attractiveness and require or requires a trade school campus area. Okay, that doesn't really help too much. Oh, it increases uh, jail capacity and police uh, department efficiency. And then the other one, tourism. So the engineering gives us... Um, all generic zone industry income while reducing city water consumption and sewage outlet.
our industry area is not doing too well, but that's completely normal for this thing. We could um, maybe decrease the taxes on them, possibly. We'll see if we can't do that. Um, industry will drop that down to 10% and see if that helps a little bit. And the same for office buildings, just so the taxes are a little bit less for them. And... Hopefully that will give us... I'm not sure. It says we don't have enough workers, so... I've always kind of struggled with that. <laughs> as much as we have, like, so much housing here, not everyone wants to go work over there, which is unfortunate. Um... And I, I don't really know how to fix that. Everyone seems to be favoring commercial buildings over the industry, so... <laughs> Eventually they balance out and people go there, but that's only like when there's not enough jobs for commercial that they do that, so... I don't know. They just keep up going on... Going abandoned and then rebuilding and stuff, so... Just see how that turns out. I think it's partly because we have such big industry areas of ourselves. Like, we have... 1,000 worker spots here. Everyone seems to want to come over here for work and other places which might be contributing to the problem. I uh, just noticed that we need to get pipes over there. There we go. That should do. Alright, anyhow, we did get uh, quite a bit of this stuff uh, built. I'm, st I, I'm still working on the schools a little bit. I want to put some more flowers and stuff in. Uh, to decorate it, but I kind of outlined the fence areas with the trees just to kind of give it a kind of a natural barrier and um, filled in some of the edges and stuff with, along the highways with trees. I don't want to do it too much over here because there's a few problems with that. There's going to be the industry area. <laughs> yeah, there goes the last building. Oh, no, the, a couple more buildings popped up. Uh, uh, one worker for that one and got... Still not enough workers for that one either, so... I don't know. It, it will sort itself out eventually, I think, but it will take time. But yeah, let's start building the, um... Decorating some of this. We can put some flowers and stuff around this side. And maybe along here as well. some smaller trees in.
until there was a little bit of a clear break for the rain and stuff like that, but it just doesn't seem to be going to be a sunny day today, unfortunately. So we have, um, I set up a bus line, a uh, school bus line for the, well, it's not really a school bus, it's still technically a bus line, but it's just a reskin of buses. But I ended up putting a bus line through here um, that goes to the school area, which is this block. And I separated the roads by putting in, um, what do you call it, the uh, dedicated bus lanes. And I was hoping that would actually help with the congestion a little bit. And then I noticed that it was starting to bottleneck around in this area and especially this one road so i upgraded it to have two regular lanes and two bus lanes not that everyone uses the um lanes like for example this guy he's going down the bus lane but it is what it is and um what else what else did i do i think i did that and a few other things we got the metro line going up got two stops there i also uh slashed the Prices during the night uh, down to 50% for some of the things like parks, landmarks, um, or industry areas slashed down to about 50%. Uh, postal offices, some of the transportation and roads because we don't really need the roads too much. Though I'm almost wondering because this is more designed for. Uh, road maintenance which I think makes the cars go a little bit faster and the um, what do you call it the snow removal but we don't really need snow removal so I'm almost wondering if that's even technically worth having something there or not but I don't know anyhow if you were new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out